recount. Recall Senator Van Wongard asked for that recount today. Lacey Crisp is live on the scene with the latest. What reaction are you getting? Well, Carol, this race isn't over yet, but it will decide the balance of power in the state Senate. Starting Wednesday, workers here will start sifting through ballots and beginning the recount process. Now, Senator Van Wongard says since election night, he's considered a recount to ensure integrity in the process, a process that will cost taxpayers money. First of all, there's no session until January of 2013. So there's no urgency, no sense of urgency that has to be done. There's no special sessions that have been called at this point. Senator Van Wongard argues he wouldn't ask for a recount if he didn't think there was a chance he could win. He contends there's enough voter fraud to change the outcome of the election. This will help us look in the areas that need to be looked at for potential fraud or, or allegations that there were issues that happened at those polls. Well, looking for all kinds of shenanigans from day one. This, this process of poo-pooing what voters do. There's just a 1.2% difference in balances between Republican Senator Van Wongard and Democrat John Lehman, which means Wongard had to shell out a part of the cost for the recall. Taxpayers will pick up the rest. And yes, there are going to be some, some, uh, some county dollars that are going to be involved in this with the recount process, but you know, this is part of the process. Wongard had to pay $685, but the county clerk says she doesn't have an estimate for how much taxpayers will have to fork over. We understand that the taxpayers are still going to be on the hook. As for voters in this 50-50 district, they are also split on whether they think it's worth it. When is this frivolous money spending going to be over? Look at how much it costs to have that other recount that was stupid. Both men say they are confident they will be the final winner of this race. Wongard says if he doesn't win, he planned on running again in 10 months or whenever the next election is. On your side, live in Racine, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. Yeah, that seat has flip-flopped quite a bit. Thank you very much, Lacey.